This is how VOR navigation works on a full IFR flight, flying a departure, en route segment, and approach off just the VOR. We're flying from McMinnville down to Newport Municipal Airport. The route we filed is to go to the Newburgh VOR just northeast of the field and join Victor 182, following that down to the Newport VOR from where an instrument approach will commence. Let's look at the departure area. We'll substitute the airport symbol on the en route chart with the runway layout. Let's say we're using runway 17 for departure. The terminal procedures publication lists the departure procedure for runway 17. It involves a climbing left turn to intercept the 183 radial from the Newburgh VOR and fly inbound. Then we keep climbing in the hold, which is depicted by the gray racetrack pattern below the VOR, until we reach the MEA for the route of flight. The MEA for the airway we're joining is 6,000 feet. We should have no trouble reaching 6,000 on our initial climb prior to getting to the VOR so we can turn directly from the VOR to the airway. Prior to departing, we're going to set the OBS on our VOR, tuned to Newburgh on 117.4. We're intercepting the 183 radial, which we're flying inbound along the reciprocal course, which is 003 degrees, so we set that. We take off and make a standard departure, which involves us delaying any turns until reaching 400 feet above the departure end of the runway elevation. Passing that altitude, we turn left as instructed in the procedure to intercept the radial inbound as we set it. As planned, we reach 6,000 prior to getting to the VOR, so there's no need to hold as we continue the climb. When the flag flips at station passage, we'll turn left to intercept and follow Victor 182. This is the 204 radial, which we'll now set into the VOR. We've joined the en route portion of the flight. For the first phase here, we're tracking outbound along the 203 radial from Newburgh. At some point, we're going to switch the VOR we're tracking. This point is depicted by the changeover point symbol, which is 37 DME from Newburgh and 29 DME from Newport. We can obviously identify this point using DME, but if we didn't have DME, we could use a second VOR, as the point lies along the 315 radial from the nearby Corvallis VOR. When we reach that point, we switch to tracking the Newport VOR on 117.1. We reset to fly inbound on the 029. Our course is the reciprocal of that, which is 209. So that gets put into the OBS, and now we have a 2 indication. We'll continue tracking inbound to follow the airway. It's around now that we're told to expect the VOR alpha approach into Newport, so we have a look at the approach plate for that with our position overlaid onto it. We'll be cleared from here for the approach, told to cross Newport at or above 2,400. This means we can start our descent. We'll only be down to let's say 4,200 as we approach the station, so our descent will continue. What happens next is the procedure turn. We cross the station and the flag flips, we're going to turn to an intercept course of about 360. We'll begin timing our outbound leg, planning to stay within 10 miles of the VOR for the course reversal, as it says in the profile view. We're twisting the OBS to set the inbound course to the approach of 146. Now because we're flying the reciprocal of 146 going outbound here, the needle will be reverse sensing. Notice it's left of center, even though we need to correct to the right. So if you don't want that, you could twist the OBS to 326, what you're actually flying, but just know that you'd have to set 146 once you turn back inbound. For the procedure turn, we'll first turn to 281. We'll start timing one minute. We've already got the inbound course of 146 set up. After the minute, we make a turn to 101. Meanwhile, we level off at 2400 as we roll out on 101 degrees. This is a 45 degree intercept heading for the approach course, which we intercept and fly inbound. Once we're established inbound, we can descend again at a 2400 for the MDA of 1060 feet. Notice that there's no final approach fix, unlike on many approaches. The final approach segment, which is where we can descend below 2400 feet, begins when we're established inbound. We level off at 1100 feet or so as a buffer above the MDA, and we start looking for the runway. The approach course has us coming on a diagonal to the runway like this, so we'll break off and circle to our runway when we have the visual cues in sight. All in all, not too complicated a flight for a full VOR exercise. Try it out for yourself in the sim or in real life and check out Flight Insight IFR Ground School to be the best instrument pilot you can be. Visit us at the link here or in the description today.